Hi guys, I'm at Tana's show with some fun people. Hi. You'll see in a second. Absolutely, 100%. Oh my god. Everyone get in my shot, I need the content. Please bless us while we're on stage. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. Let's pray to have no more scandals this year. Yeah. Hey guys, so I had a long day. A lot of things happened. Today was the first day of my music video shoot um, for my upcoming song. I'm really excited about it. I, I'll talk more about that later. I haven't even officially announced it yet. But so I woke up late and I had to rush to get ready to go to the shoot because um, there's like a huge crew and everything and I had like guests coming and I didn't want to push it back and stuff. So I was like frantically getting ready and I was already leaving late and I walk out and get into my car and I notice right away all the stuff inside is scattered everywhere. Like my middle compartment, um, all my stuff was everywhere and I like froze and like got the chills because I obviously realized someone broke into my car. And keep in mind, I live in a house. I don't have like, a, like a, an apartment building has like a security and like a you like buzz in or whatever. So it's just like my normal house and my car is in my driveway. Um, so it freaked me out. I've always been a little bit sketched out with my area um, that I live in, and this was like the icing on the cake. So I literally want to move ASAP. Um, but anyway, my car, the weird thing is they didn't break like a window or anything. Thank goodness. My car is fine. They, I, they somehow propped a door open, and I know it was locked. I always um, lock my door by habit. Like I just, I won't walk away unless I hear the, the, the um, honk from locking it. Yeah, like, I, I'm so good about that. Yeah. And also, um, when I did come to get in my car, it was locked. So I had to unlock it to get in, first of all. So they, they opened it and it was locked. They somehow propped a door open. I, I guess there's ways to do it if you're, I don't know, a criminal out there. Um, <laughs> like, they propped it open somehow. Like, the, the passenger door was cracked when I came up to it. And thankfully, they only stole, um, like, spare cash. Like, I keep emergency cash in my middle compartment. They stole that, and then they stole my phone charger, my glasses, which really is really annoying because it's my prescription glasses. I use them to drive, and now I don't have them. So I had to drive today without glasses, which is annoying. But it's, they still, they were expensive, and it's just annoying. Like, why steal my glasses? Yeah, and I, I mean, like, all the stuff that was stolen is fine. It's replaceable. I'm not upset about it. It's just, one, it's annoying, because now I have to... And, like, they stole my phone charger, which is another big deal, but, like, I, I just had... Like, now I just have one, so I have to go buy a new phone charger for my car. Yeah, I need some too. Whoa, you look crazy. Shelby has a so Shelby has a face mask mask on. It's like jelly. It's weird. Um, anyway, so I'm fine. My nothing that was stolen was a huge deal. It's just, I'm just scared. I'm more shaken up um, because someone went into my driveway, my yard, and broke into my car while I was asleep. That freaks me out. I'm just really glad that I'm safe. I'm glad they didn't go into my house. I don't know what I would have done if I if someone broke into my house and they woke, and woke me up. That would have freaked me out. Um, but I'm fine, I'm just shaken up and like scared. I literally am moving. The good thing is I don't have to pay rent anymore. My, next, my last month of rent was literally, is literally September and I'm about to travel for like two weeks. So I'll pay this last month of rent and then when I come back from traveling, I'm moving. <laughs> I'm gonna find a new house and move and get, into, and get into a better area that's like nicer and safe. I just wanna feel safe. Like I know I sound over dramatic, like, oh my God, he's moving because his car's broken into. I don't mean to sound over dramatic. I just where I live has always been sketchy. Sometimes I literally hear gunshots, and it's just a sketchy area. Um, I've always been a little on edge about it, but now the fact that someone went into my property and broke into my car—that's like the final straw. Like I'm, I'm out. So I'm actually at Shelby's house right now because I don't want to sleep at my house. Um, I just I'm scared. So where was I? My mind just got blank. Um, Oh, anyway, what I was telling Shelby, a couple crazy things are, I have had a horrible sleeping schedule for, like, six months. <laughs> like, I literally would stay up till, like, four or five almost every night, and I would go to the gym super late, like, two o'clock sometimes. I film in the middle of the night, like, three o'clock sometimes, and my filming room is right next to where my car is parked in the driveway. So, what's crazy is, like, I just now got a normal sleeping schedule. Like, within the past week, I've been going to bed, like, before midnight and waking up at, like, eight. So 
the f- when I finally get a sleeping schedule that's normal is when it's broken into. So that makes me think that I wonder if this has almost happened before. Like someone comes up to my property to try and steal something, but they like hear me inside or see the lights on that I'm filming or like whatever. But also like when I go to the gym in the middle of the night sometimes, like what if I had done it last night at like two o'clock and saw someone break into my car? I don't know how I would have reacted. That freaks me out to think about. (laughs) I'm just glad I'm safe and glad nothing that was irreplaceable was stolen or broken. So yeah, it just sucks. But this was a long clip, sorry. All right, so Oliver is in timeout. I got him this really nice new bed for him to lay on during the day and he completely destroyed it. Do you see all this foam everywhere? These foam things were inside. This was the cover, that was the cushion and he tore it apart. What do you say about yourself, Oliver? What do you have to say? Excuse me. That's what I thought. You're lucky you're cute. I already forgive you. So Luna has some new food and she's trying for the first time and she ate it so quick. It looks a little gross in there, ignore. <laughs> Luna, how do you like your new food? You like it? I think she did. She outgrew her old one. It was like for like baby pigs. Um, and it sh- said like the age range and she's old enough now to try new stuff and I think she liked it. She's just licking the bowl. Honestly, me after I go to Cheesecake Factory, I lick my plate. All right, so since I'm ridiculous and I'm still scared and paranoid of where I live because my car was broken into, I am setting up, ignore the mess back there, y'all. I need to clean. I'm setting up my Harry Styles poster to stay by my front door. This kind of glass makes it blurry. You can't really tell. You can't see, but you can tell there's definitely a shadow. Like when someone walks to my front door, I can see him. So this is gonna, Scare my intruders away, kind of like a, like a scarecrow. <laughs> because I'm about to film in the middle of the night, and yeah, so Harry Styles is my guardian angel. So I'm about to go to the airport for playlist, and it's really early in the morning, and I need to let Luna out before I go. Otherwise, she'll pee later, and I'm gonna wake her up. It's really cute when she wakes up because she like pops out of a blanket. I'm gonna show you. Luna, Luna, you need to go potty, silly. Where are you? Where'd Luna go? I don't see. Oh! Go potty. What a good girl. She went she went pee right away. Good girl. So, I just had a crazy weekend. One of the craziest weekends ever, I feel like. I had my music video shoot for my upcoming song that I have yet to officially announce. <laughs> You'll see soon. I had that both days, Saturday and Sunday, and then I had to film and edit my usual weekly video for Sunday, and I had the VMAs. Um, and the VMAs, you know, obviously is a fun thing, but I actually, I did go for like an obligation. I had, to, I did a deal with them to where I was, you know, paid to go and I had to promote and post certain things. So it was, it was fun, but it was still a work thing. So I had to juggle all that stuff all week and it was so hard and I am a worn out, but it all went really well. My music video went so well, better than I had hoped. Um, there's going to be a lot of fun guests in it and I'm so excited. I finished up the vocals for the song last night. I wanted to redo a few parts, um, but it's coming along so good. I'm so proud of it. I'm pumped. Um, yeah, I don't want to say too much because I am going to like officially announce it when everything's like ready, um, but it should come out in like a month-ish. That's what I'm thinking. But the VMAs were so much fun. I accidentally got a picture with Ed Sheeran. I was waiting to go on the red carpet and he walks up out of nowhere and Shelby had my phone and thankfully just took pictures. So I kind of have a picture with Ed Sheeran, here it is. And then there's a funny one from an alternate view where it looks like we're just hanging out. (laughs) But also, oh my God. So if y'all didn't know, my favorite band of all time, pun intended, is All Time Low. I've been a fan of them since middle school. They were my first concert. Um, I just love them so much and they still put out great albums. Their new album from this year is so good. And I got to meet them two years ago when I did the MTV Phantom Awards. They performed there and I was there working with MTV. So before the show, we got like 20 minutes to hang out and like get to know each other. But it was two years ago, so you know, I assume they probably forgot who I was by now. Um, We have tweeted back and forth on Twitter a few times. But on the carpet, I was waiting in line to do an interview and Alex, the lead singer from All Time Low, runs up to me and hugs me and like asks how I'm doing and stuff. And I'm just 
the definition of shook because I'm just shocked he remembered me. He was so nice and Jack was with him. Oh my God, it was just really cool that they remembered who I was. But we got a, we got a nice picture, here's that. And overall, it was so much fun. Um, the performances were insane. Miley killed it. Demi was amazing. Um, who else was there? I'm trying to think. Oh my God, the Logic and Alyssa Cara and Khalid performance got me in chills. Pink was amazing. Taylor Swift's music video, y'all, is one of the best things I have ever seen. I, it's insane. <laughs> like, it's genius. I don't care if you like her or you hate her. That music video is genius. It's so good. And I tweeted about it, and I got hate from people that were, like, assuming I, that means I hated Kim and Kanye because I liked Taylor. Y'all, I am sick of this kind of stuff happening. I love Taylor Swift. I also love Kim Kardashian. I'm not a huge fan of Kanye West. He's made some songs I like, but I don't hate him because I like Taylor. I like Fifth Harmony. I like Camilla. I like Taylor Swift. I like Katy Perry. But just because celebrities may have drama or beef doesn't mean I have to pick a side. Some people might pick a side. I don't... I don't care about drama and stuff like that. If I like a song, if I like an artist, if it's good music, I'm gonna like it, you know? Like, I loved Bad Blood, loved Swish Swish. Katie and Taylor had a feud, whatever. So, if I ever tweet about liking an artist, please don't tweet things to me like that, because it's getting tired. And, and like, in general, if I tweet about, like, even Miley, some of the plies would be like, oh, I don't like her. That's fine, you know? I don't get why people have to say they don't like an artist if I tweet that I like one. I don't know. The point, my point is, if there's a good song that I like, I'm gonna like it. If there's a good artist out there that I like, I'm gonna like it. If you don't like it, that's fine. But don't get mad at me for liking someone. I don't know. Um, but I'm not sure what this vlog consisted of, but I hope you enjoyed it. And thumbs up for more. Love y'all.